Now, an update to our Eight on Your Side investigation. Retirement community scandal. University Village ownership locked in a life and death struggle with the state, and now clients and customers have become collateral damage. The state contends the new owners of the retirement community are cash-strapped and want them gone. University Village owners argue that the state put a hold on their money, tying up millions of dollars. Meanwhile, senior investigative reporter Steve Andrews found people living there or even thinking about it are the ones paying the price, right, Steve? Doesn't it seem like it's the little guy who always takes it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does to me, too. Some folks living at University Village tell me services they're paying for are fading. Others trying to get their fully refundable money back are left hanging. 59 years ago, in 1956, Sandra and Harold Carson said their I do's. By October 2014, they decided it was time they moved to University Village Retirement Community. University Village had a lot of good programs. The facility offers its residents apartments and continuing care with assisted living and a skilled nursing center. So Harold paid a $1,500 down payment. By December 2014, Sandra stopped eating and was hospitalized. The news was not good. It turned out to be the dementia was causing the not eating. When Sandra became unable to walk or stand, Harold decided to stay put. His condo had room for a live-in caretaker. He asked for his fully refundable deposit. After waiting a year, he contacted Eight on Your Side. What kind of explanation have they given to you about why this has taken so long? They haven't. In June, Harold received an email from the director of accounting. It stated, there will be issue of your refund today. The ownership of University Village is in a life and death struggle with the state. The Office of Insurance Regulation charges the new owner skirted the law by not going through a required approval process. Other clients are also waiting for their money. So I reached out to John Bartle, one of the principals in the takeover of University Village. Um, is there somebody I can talk to about this? I'd like to get this taken care of. Within minutes of my contacting John Bartle, he forwarded me an email he received from accounting. It said, I have it cut sending out today. I'd say I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah. As I mentioned, Harold Carson is not alone. The Office of Insurance Regulation contends University Village ownership has failed to pay more than four million dollars in refunds owed to residents, their estates, and prospective residents. And what's their story? Well, their explanation is, at least according to John Bartle, is that the money is in the queue, but the state won't allow the ownership to release it. And this is all dragging on in court. Going to be another hearing on Monday in Tallahassee. Meanwhile, these poor people yeah. are seeing their money just kind of fade mess. away right. in the legal bills. Fade away. Yep. All, all right. right Steve. Thanks, Steve.